Hi guys, Tivik here, and welcome to episode 10 of Minecraft Season 3. So, I was just finishing up recovering from the last um, little excursion, should I say. Um, and, well, things didn't go that well. We lost pretty much all our cool stuff, and... Um, why isn't that being picked up? That one I can understand. Um, we lost... We lost the backpack with all the tools, and I've remade the tree tab and the wrench and uh, stuff like that. But I am still missing a few key items. Um, but it's fine. We'll recover, no problem. What I want to do in this episode, though, is um, set up some more buildcraft energy production, I think. And considering that these will produce uh, a lot of cool items for that. Like, for instance, this will produce saplings. Whoa, look at that. That's one tree to cut down. Uh, since this one will produce saplings, I should probably set up some biofuel production. It's a good thing to start with. Um, wow, eight diamond chipsets. We've got plenty of chipsets. That's good. I should start making some gates. Also, I want to make this advanced crafting table. I have no idea what it does, so... Um, let's start making some gates gates. Some iron gates. Um, we need to make the red pipe wire. So let's get some iron and some more redstone. Um, some redstone. I'll get a stack of that and that. And we'll get... Do we have any flowers? No red flowers. Okay. Um, we'll get ten of those. And I do need to gain another level so that I can, uh, well, another level, a couple of levels so that I can finally make, um, oh, stop that one, make those instead. And these are used, um, what's the recipe for that? That's lapis and iron. We should probably make a few of those as well, so let's uh, request some lapis. Um, in the last episode, I was trying to get myself um, some ender pearls so that I can find the ender fort because I want to have a base in the end so that I can uh, collect a lot of ender eyes. But I think that's going to be tricky. Uh, let's make 24. And these are used with gold chips to make the gold and gates. Awesome. Let's uh, dump those in there. There we go. Gold and gate. Should make a bunch of these. They are very useful. And, of course, we'll need more pipe wire, so... I should probably just craft all the pipe wire that I can make from the rose red. And uh, go on a hunt for more of the roses. Right, so, where do we want to get started with this? I'm thinking, since this... Hey, someone's shooting at me. I do have some stuff in here that I could collect. Uh, this leads directly into our little room here. This line here, I was thinking about making the biofuel engines. That's uh, five or six of them. That should produce enough energy to drive uh, pretty much anything in my base. Uh, that way I don't need to use the stuff upstairs. And I can expand this room as well if I want to. Let's switch to X-ray just to see. Yeah, I should probably expand in that direction. We'll see what I do. But this one does not produce a lot of energy, so we need a fermenter. And the fermenter is produced using sturdy casing and bronze gears. That's not overly complicated, so let me craft that real quick. Let's see. Do we have any bronze? Very little. So let's grab some... Um, Let's make uh, a stack. That's not entirely a stack, but... And it's filling up. There we go. That's one stack. We're going to need more bronze anyhow, so... One of those. We will need some stone. Um, we're gonna need four 
We're gonna need 16. I think. I might be wrong. And we balance that out. Uh, we need four gears. We should request some glass. And we should craft these. We have the bronze gears that we need. We have the glass. I think that's the way. No, it's the other way around. Oh. Come on. There we go, fermenter. And we should place this one down. And that was close. Is he down here? Oh, it's probably under the ground or something. We can send power up here, so... Um, oh, that's not right. We'll have to do something like that. And we place the fermenter there. And this one will need a few things, but uh, that's fine. I want to make this automated, but that's something I'm going to do later. First of all, it needs some kind of fluid. And if I were to request a couple of... Where are they? Saplings. Am I blind? There we are. Let's grab uh, uh, 20 of them. And uh, they will soon arrive. Okay, dump these. These saplings, and we will need... Let me see. I can't do that from there. There we go. Not that, not that, not that. Uh, this. Biomass. So we need apple juice for the most effective but to make apple juice we should squeeze apples the question is how many apples have we produces, produced only 58 so that's not a lot um, no I will uh, use the fermenter for this so it's just water fertilizer or mulch or m compost and we can make compost pretty quickly and easily. So let's uh, craft ourselves a stack. And we will need to make an aqueous accumulator, which is just gold uh, and iron around, and that's... So we need a fair deal of glass, like uh, 10, I think. And uh, we need a gold ingot, we need some iron and we need some redstone we're gonna need a little bit more iron for the bucket and we need two tin ingots I think that's all I need and here we go F 64 compost that's awesome um, we'll start with the machine frame that that and that for the servo. We place that for a bucket and uh, that and that. Aqueous accumulator. That was quick and easy, wasn't it? Let's uh, also request, I think we do have some waterproof pipes somewhere. I might just have lost them. I think I might have lost them. Uh, how are we for pipe waterproof? 57 of these. I should replant my little cactus farm out here. Let me do that real quick. So, something like that and that and that. Oh, that's not right. Just to make sure that I don't run out. And then we can cook say half of these and we should request some smooth stone and let's see six more and we need 
four more glass. Just so that I can craft up stuff all. Did I make a miscalculation that bad? Yes, I did. Oh, that's just bad. Let me see. Come on. Where's the last? There we go. And we have 64 of those. And some more stone waterproofs. Um, we're going to need a bucket as well. Perfect. And this bucket I can fill. So we need to put power to this one somehow. Hmm. How to do this? Do I have a bucket filler here? Yes. There we go. And uh, I need to make an infinite water source. Can do that. I might not want to have it straight above here. So let's move it. Oop. Want to get back up there? There we go. I got the fermenter, yes, and you know what? I should probably build a little building for this, or just build it downstairs. I'll build a little building, I think. I'll clear out this little hilltop and make a small building, so I'll be right back with you guys. And I've finished building the structure itself and uh, I am now ready to pump out some of this and into the fermenter. Let me show you. This room here. It's just next to here and actually do I have any glass on me? No. Didn't I order some glass? I think I did. Oh I did. There we go. Ah. Seriously. Let's hop up here and <laughs> do this the safe way. There we go. I put some glowstone lamps here just for it to look nice. So, we put this uh, there. And that one will have enough water to... Yeah, yeah since this fills up faster than it pumps out the water itself. That should be fine. Oop. There we go. I did die once. I r dropped into a thing where I had plenty of uh, creepers and stuff, but nothing major except for me losing some health and losing some levels, but that's another story. We need energy for this, and I'm thinking I should have a peat engine sitting here, or just since here is the logistics system coming up and uh, it's ready so that I can make a, uh, make a crafting system out of this. Um, let me make a peat engine. Uh, the peat engine is bronze, no, copper gears. So we need a total of 8 and 3 copper. We need two stone gears, an iron ingot, a redstone, three planks, and four of those. And of course, the crafting table. The water, I'm sorry, the glass we have already, so. And the chest has flipped out again. I don't know, that's an annoying little bug, and I haven't managed to nail it down. I don't know where it's from. But that's fine. Forgot to balance the recipe. Oh well. Where is it? There it is. We're gonna need a supply logistics pipe as well. Do I have any log logistic pipes left? Yes. And um, I think it's... Oh. Um, 
It's the provider. No, it's the supplier. So two lapis. And uh, let's grab two of them. Nowhere for these flowers to go. Hmm. That's a supplier pipe, and we will also need one peat. We'll also need a wooden transport and a few of these. And that should be what I need. Uh, and some redstone. That, 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 and the redstone is... Come on. There. Perfect. Let me just set this up and I'll be right back with you. I decided I wanted three engines, and let me just grab the wrench from there and set that one up to hold one peat. That one for one peat, that one for one peat. So now I have two, six, seven, eight, nine engines. Should be more than enough for the system to keep up. And this position there will be an intersection. And we can run the stone pipes over like this. There we go. This one should soon be active. Let's hope they get some peat. There we go. Three peat in these machines. Um, I was thinking about how to start the machinery and I could knock these out and I could probably put levers in front of here but it would be nice to use the conditionals from gates. So I do have some gold gates and some pipe wire. The gold might be a little bit overkill, so um, let me see. What's the iron? I think I need the iron. The iron and gates. I think they should be enough. But let's see. I want to do pipe wiring for this. We'll run pipe wiring all over to this here machine. Now these guys, can they... Um, yeah, cooling down is not good for them, but whatever. Let's see. Red pipe signal on means redstone signal on. Perfect. And this here will have has work red pipe signal. And it will start working. Awesome. Now, if I were to request myself they are pumping out energy and this one is producing fairly quickly some biomass. That's good. This one will fill up pretty fast. Uh, I should probably make... I Do I need to put stuff in from below for that? Hmm. I need to look up that on the wiki, I think. Hold on a moment. According to the wiki, it doesn't really matter which side I put items in, so let's uh, do this and... Uh, some stone. I will grab that and uh, let's ask to always keep one stack and have a stack of that. And we should switch to partial requests. There we go. That one is filling up and some of it didn't go in. How about the compost? Let's uh, take some of it out. I should make it like this. Um, space for liquid. 
Okay, that's good. Because when this one is full, this should turn off and stop wasting my peat. Not that I <laughs> really need to worry about that. I do have a lot of it. I think that's how it works. Has work and space for liquid run. And we'll just wait for this one to fill up. I do want to make some sort of uh, machine room. Um, biomass, what can we use that for? We can use it to make biofuel in a still. And uh, the biofuel is used in the combustion engine for uh, hmm, 40,000 tick. That's pretty good, actually. I do know that they have changed it in a newer version, but should be fine. How are we for saplings now? 200 of them. This will probably not be able to keep up. That was an interesting buggy view of things, but okay. So, with this power running, I should probably make a rolling machine. The rolling machine is four pistons, iron, and a crafting table. This machine I want to put in here. And uh, I'll figure it out somehow, because I need to make tanks. We could put it in here, I suppose. This one has plenty of stuff that it can produce. So let's make four pistons. So four, and we're going to need another one, another set. Four of those. Uh, that's uh, 12 of those, and 16. Oh, I do have some of that. We have that and that and that, and we can craft. So, balance that, and we have four pistons. Now, it was like there, no, there, 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 and there. And we also need a crafting bench. crafting table, rolling machine. And this one also needs energy, so I'll put it there. And we can then run some wires there. This one shouldn't take energy. Oh, these switched off because this one hasn't got space. That's awesome. Now, wasting energy Yeah, it will keep burning the peat, but that's fine. Uh, same for this one here. Has work a redstone signal? No. Pipe signal on. Perfect. And the reason I want these is so I can make some mm, some uh, tanks. So let's get mm, two stacks of iron. Let's see if it arrives. That's one stack coming, and the second should be shortly after. Awesome. There we go. That's what we want to make. And... Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much I will need, but I'll make a few. Uh, the iron plates are used to make tank walls, and let me just quickly calculate how big a tank I want. I will put that tank on the outside of this, I think, just here. So it'll be, it will be a tank that is one, two, three times three like that, and we'll make it fairly high. Like that. That will do. That will do. So that's going to need a lot of tank 
pieces. So let me grab that. That's 24. Let's see how far we get in 24. Not very, I suspect, but... 1, 2, and 3. Okay, that one needs to be solid. And we're making it 1, 2, 3, 4 high. So we need another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5-ish. Something like that. We'll see what this one has produced. Can I use this for anything? No, I can't take it down. So I probably made a few too many, but we'll need more tanks later. Okay, I'm gonna open up uh, this part of the wall. Oh, there's my chainsaw. And We'll pump the liquid out to this here. Um, yeah, we'll stop that now. Um, these ones can also be used to make the the glass paneling kind. And I get four four pl plates. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a bit of waste, but that's fine. I do have some panes here, so let's grab 12. And we place this like so. That's the way. Yes. We got eight. I need three more panes, of course. I need more. We can also use these for the valves, and we need to have a few of these. So, iron bars. The recipe for iron bars is just six of those. So, let's grab that as well. There we go. And. Ah, I carry too much. And we're gonna need some levers as well. Well, just one actually. That's enough. Plenty enough. Perfect. And we'll put a valve. Let's see. If I pump this up so it comes out there. We can have this and the valve there. Do I want to close this side up? Do we want to keep it? I should actually integrate this with the wall. Let's do that. I'm just going to move this and be right back. And there we go. Iron tank with 720 buckets. That's a lot. We need some stone waterproof. We're also going to need a wooden pipe. Do I have glass? Yes. And we should just throw this out. Oh, I can't use the redwood for that. I'm gonna need to clear out. I'll put a redstone engine uh, and a wooden pipe. Hmm. Put the redstone engine underneath and the lever on it. And we'll pump into there. And this will be the wooden pipe, so the input will be like so. Brilliant. Let me just get that wooden pipe. We're also gonna I can put some of these away in here. That can go there. I'm gonna need some gates, but let's not waste all the gates. But let's put that in there. We don't need that. Um, I do have some of that, which can go back in there. 
And we need, where is my order requesting tool? Some more cactus green. Get that out and make eight wooden pipes. I suppose I just need one. Also, the redstone engine we need to make. Um, let me make that off camera real quick. I see that we're running out of time, actually. Um, I will finish this off off camera so that you don't have to watch all this. Um, but in the next episode, I'll get the whole production hooked up so that everything goes to the machine room. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.